The video will start in a few seconds, but as a reminder, remember, if you have a question, comment, or suggestion about this video, please follow the link below. Also note that you can post anonymously. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3DGameMan.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Noctua NF series of fans. The NF P12, the NF F12 PWM, and the NF P14 FLX. First, let's have a look at the NF P12 fan. I'll unbox it. It comes in this lovely see-through case. The top comes off. They include the fan, four of these mounts, and all you do with these is just pull them through the holes on the fan, and they have excellent anti-vibration properties as well. You can also use screws, which they include. They include four screws for mounting the fan. Also a number of adapters. This is simply a straight through to the power supply. To the fan and then you've got a couple of low noise adapters right here and these will basically quiet the fan down there's just a resistor in each so it will just reduce the voltage the fan itself like other noctua fans have this brown theme going on they also have this nice braided cable and this by the way is a three pin connector it has this pressure optimized nine blade design specifically developed for high impedance applications such as cpu coolers water cooling radiators or cases with tight fan grills and this particular fan provides superior pressure and airflow performance and note that each blade has a couple of notches in it these are called vortex control notches and basically they make the fan a little quieter it also comes with SC drive or smooth communication drive which reduces torque variations and therefore ensures improved running smoothness it also has a SS O bearing. Now SSO stands for self stabilizing oil pressure and this particular technology guarantees superior quiet operation and exceptional long term stability. It will last upwards of 150,000 hours and this fan comes with a six year warranty. The NFF12 PWM fan is considered a premium fan. This is a 120 by 120 by 25 millimeter fan. It has a few more technologies than the other basic fans. Very impressive box a window so you can see the fan and there is lots and lots of features and specifications about the product on the box. Now let's see what is included. Again, in this case, top comes off. They have these mounts, the fan itself, and these also have rubber where they get mounted right here. And this plus these mounts will cut down on vibrations. Included as well are four screws for mounting the fan and a number of cables. These are very pretty. They are all braided. This one here is a low noise adapter. It has a resistor in it to basically reduce the speed of the fan. This end gets connected into a four pin CPU fan header on the motherboard and this end gets connected into a four pin fan lead. They include a Y cable for two fans and a 30 centimeter extension cable. Now have a closer look at these rubber inserts. They are on both sides of the fan and the idea with this is to cut down on vibrations. The fan also has a nice braided cable and a four pin connector. This fan comes with all kinds of technologies and the main goal is to make the fan quiet but still provide ample airflow and some of these technologies include forced flow frame varying angular distance and vortex control notches it also has this stepped inlet design inner surface microstructures integrated anti-vibration pads which i showed you earlier these here as well as an sso2 bearing now if you remember the other one had an sso bearing well this is 
the second one. This one's better. The reason is the magnet is placed closer to the axis and this will provide even more stability, precision, and durability. Now this is pretty impressive. It comes with a metal bearing shell and this guarantees the highest possible degree of manufacturing precision, minimum tolerance, and excellent long-term stability. This fan sports a CNC milled bearing shell made entirely of brass. Now if that did not excite you, this probably will. It supports fully automatic PWM speed control. This particular fan uses Noctua's novel custom designed NE FD1 PWM IC that integrates smooth communication drive like the other particular fan, the SCD technology, by providing smoother torque impulses. SCD suppresses PWM switching noises and thus makes the fan quieter at lower speeds. Finally, let's have a look at the NFP14FLX fan. This fan comes in a pretty box, clear window on the front as well as lots of features and specifications about it. Now let's open it up and see what is inside. Again, a clear case. The top comes off. Here's the fan. And it has these anti-vibration mounts again. More mounts. And note that these come with rubber as well. Have these low noise adapters again and a straight pass-through connector. This end goes into the power supply and the other end into the fan. This fan looks a little bit different than the other one. Remember the other two were 120 millimeter fans and this is a 140 millimeter fan. It still has this nice braided cable. This one comes with a three pin connector. It has pretty similar technologies to the other fans. This one has the VCN or the vortex control notches. You can see them in each blade. This fan also has an SSO bearing, not an SSO2 bearing, but it does have SCD or smooth communication drive version two. First, have a listen to the NFP12 fan. Next, the NFF12 PWM fan. And finally, the NFP14 fan. No matter what the application is, Noctua probably has a fan for it. They have so many fans, it is not funny. Now some people don't like this brown color theme. I have to say this, it is rather unique. So if you like a uniquely colored fan and a fan that comes with a six year warranty, these things will last pretty much forever. Fans that are quiet, fans that also perform very well, push lots of air, then you will definitely find a fan that you want from Noctua. Overall though, these fans are 100% kick-ass. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.